when the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to the comfort and comfort to those who mourn. So, when you have limitations, it's because maybe Christ has not found in his, his way in your life. And that is why here, that Jesus himself was speaking. At this time, it was a time of prophecy, but here is he himself is speaking in Luke chapter, chapter 4, verse 18. And he said, the Bible says in verse, let's start from verse 16. And they came to Nazareth and where he had brought up. He had been brought up and he discussed, as it was custom, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for the read. Then he was given the time that you stand up and read. Okay. And there was delivered unto him the book of Esaias. And he took and opened the book and found the place where it is written. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor and to send me to, the, to heal the brokenhearted, to preach the deliverance of the captives and recovering of the sight to the blind, to set the liberty them that are bruised, and to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book and he gave it to the minister and sat down and all the highs of them that were... That way in the synagogue were fastened on him. Because that is what he said. He began to say that this day the scripture is fulfilled in your ears. Because at the time it is happening in Isaiah 61, it was a prophecy. Jesus himself is reading that prophecy in Isaiah 61 at, in the book of Luke chapter 4. And he is telling them the prophecy is, is, is fulfilled in your ears. Because the person who came to fulfill this scripture is the one reading the scripture to you. So it is already fulfilled in your ears. And they were like, what is, what is he telling us? They could have risen, they could rise against him all and all that. But the fact is that already he had told them the truth. That is why Jesus came. He came to be able, he was anointed so that he can preach the gospel to the poor. Who is the poor person? Poor is not a person who doesn't have property and money. The main poverty is the poverty of the lack of the knowledge of God the, the, and, and the anger for the word of God. That's the main poverty. Then he also came to heal the broken hearted. When your heart is broken, you are limited. You have limitation because you believe in nothing. You see a wall on the right, you see a wall on the left. On the south, you, 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 you see a mountain. And the, uh, on, the south, uh, on the northern, you see a mountain. On the southern, you see a valley. You don't know where to go. Because when you are broken hearted, let me tell you, even if you got sick today, and your spirit and your mind see healing, you will give, get, you'll get healing. Because the body will submit and accept what is happening. But if you get broken, and that the spirit is broken, even if the body wants to get healed, you will be destroyed. Because it starts with the mind. It is about the mind and the heart of a man, where there is, you break the limitation. The limitation in life that we have can only be destroyed by the knowledge of Jesus Christ. He comes to set you free, to, to proclaim the gospel to, the, to your poverty, and to heal your broken hearted, and deliverance to the captive, and even recovery of the sight to the blind. When you get all that, that is what we call salvation. And that's what Jesus came to bring. And that's why I'm taking you from the prophetic word of it and fulfilling one of the same. And today, I bring it to you. May it be fulfilled in your life. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And when you come to him, you will experience peace, joy, and all that pertains to it. And I want to lead you to him so that you can be able to achieve this. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you. Ask you to save me. Write my name in the book of life. And from today, I'm a child of God. You have crossed in from a, a valley of destruction to a mountain of life. And from today, you are another creature. I want to pray for you. Father, I want to thank you for everyone who gives their life to Jesus. Give them the grace to sustain the salvation they have found today. And that from this day, they will experience the joy of salvation. In Jesus' name, amen. The Lord bless you as we come to the end of this particular broadcast. May you experience the grace of God as we have spoken. Limitations are broken in your life. And this is the end of what you are saying. As you continue, we also remind you, remember to subscribe, to share, and to like, and follow us. Because we, we believe that we have something to tell you that will bring joy to your life and your family. In Jesus' name, shalom.